so sweaty. Are you that nervous? <laughs> yeah. Five months into us being in a relationship, I proposed. Wow. You should have no problem signing this nuptial agreement. Wow. You could have said no. If Micah was rushing, you were rushing too. To cut somebody off, it's almost abusive. So did you negotiate a prenuptial agreement with them? My brother brought it up to me. Yeah, we're far away from Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Sherry. And my name is Micah. And we, we are, are engaged. engaged. Me and Micah met at work. I was picking up my lunch. I sat down, and then next thing I know, this beautiful woman just sat in front of me. I thought he was really handsome, and I was like, oh, wow, like, I know where he works at, so. <laughs> <laughs> that conversation turned into a full-blown relationship within, like, the fifth month period, I bought the ring because I knew she was the one. I was like really shocked and surprised. I, I never thought that I was going to get proposed so <laughs> The palms are sweaty. <laughs> you that nervous? Yeah. I work part time. Uh, I do IT work, but my main goal is to be a music producer. I do rap and produce and I definitely want to go that route. This has been a really deep passion for him. And, you know, it's kind of hard to get in the way of a man and his passion. But sometimes financially, we have kind of like been short on bills. And I kind of like worry about our future. My family thinks that Micah is not a good provider for me. As a future husband, I want to be able to support my dreams as well as support you. How do you think it's going to go, our families meeting each other for the first time? I'm really hoping that we actually can connect the dots and we become like a big happy family instead of divided. Right, because I don't want no static on our wedding day. Yeah. It's important to get my family's blessing because they are a really big part of my life. They are going to be the ones who are going to be included in our future. Right? Babe, come look. That's crazy, man. Hi. Hey. Hello. Welcome. Hey. How are you? Good. You ready to check out your new house? Yeah. yeah Let's do it. Your place for the next three days. Oh, oh my wow. gosh. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is so nice. Nice. This house is beautiful. Oh my yeah. gosh. I can't wait until we wake up in the morning and see the sunrise out in Malibu. Me so. Come on in. Have a seat. Okay. Well, first thing I want to do is congratulate you on your engagement. Thank, Thank you. you. It's a really big deal. Yes. Because it's not just the two of you getting married. You're really bringing two families together. Right. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your proposal. I had the ring five months into uh, us being in a relationship. Uh -huh. <laughs> like you made a decision. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I made the yeah. decision. Uh -huh. I was like, OK, she's the one. It was just one morning when she was sound asleep, I woke her up and then I proposed. Wow. When he proposed to me, I was excited. But I also said in my mind, wow, what am my family going to think? Five months is pretty early in a relationship to right. be. But in my heart, I knew I found the one. Families, I can tell you, one of their biggest reasons that they have trouble with an engagement is that it happens too quickly for them, you know? All right. so. It's coming from your side of the family, Sherry. So my brother Robert, my sister Imani, and my best friend Dapika. Yeah, I'm just kind of worried that they don't really know each other that well. Yeah, I agree. I think that they kind of rush things. So hopefully, you know, we can potentially stop her from going down that road. My brother really has a big issue with Micah because he look at him kind of like a weak man, you know, because he's not providing. And my sister kind of feels the same way. They think I'm lazy because I'm working part time, which is totally not true. I have a goal in mind, and I'm just trying to push forth that. What do you think of his rap career? I do support it. I do have some concerns about it, too, as well. Right. Micah, it's coming from your side of the family. My cousin, Ernest, my mom, Cassandra, and my best friend, Anthony. 
I don't think I'm gonna be able to stand to hear negative uh, things about my son. My family think uh, she's overly high maintenance, but I just know how that will look, not knowing her. How important would you say getting these blessings are? It's important because my mom is my strong support system and her decision matters to me. How about you, Sherry? I love Micah, and I really want this relationship to work. However, if I don't have their blessing, I need to reevaluate some things. So our work here is to get those blessings from your family. So I'm gonna give you tasks that are gonna help you resolve the things that the families are dealing with and hopefully help bring about the healing. Micah, Sherry's family is concerned first and foremost about your finances and your work ethic. I would like for them to see what your vision is for the future. So I'm gonna have you do a five-year plan. Sherry, you're gonna play a game called Truth Pong with Micah's family, okay? okay? It's a game like beer pong, but the point is to let Micah's family get to know you better. Okay. So your families are on the way. Alrighty. <laughs> so you guys ready to get started? We're ready, yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, I am a little nervous. I, I am a nervous too. I don't know how this is going to play out. Yeah, me either. This is so nice. Right? It's like we had a moment of silence <laughs> right now. Oh yeah, that's the quiet before the storm. I met Micah, the next thing I knew, they were engaged and he moved into her place. So immediately I called her I said, hey, are you pregnant? <laughs> and her response was, no. I want to be there for her, but it's way too fast. Hi, guys. Hey. Oh, my god! I don't know what he brings to the table financially. I feel that he's mooching off of her. And frankly, I feel he's kind of lazy. Hey, guys. Hey, hey brother. How are you doing? Hey, what's up? <laughs> you all right? Your sister comes in, giving me this super fake hug. Hey, bro. What's up, man? How you doing, man? All right. And from the start, your brother, he looks like he's just not going to get along with me, period. I'm so glad that you guys came today. I just really hope that you can work things out and become like a family eventually. We'll see. <laughs> Your family made everything awkward. It was just like an elephant in the room. I just think that it just gives them a minute to, to open up to you. Come on, Nancy. All right, I'm on my way. Ooh, this is amazing. When I found out that Michael was getting engaged, I didn't know he even had a girlfriend. He just came out the woodworks, and I'm like, wait a minute, Michael's getting engaged? Mm -hmm. Pump the brakes, man. Give it a little time. See how this one go. Cause the last few ain't been that good. <laughs> How are you? Good. You like my How you living? Good. This must be. Yeah. How you doing? I never met Sherry. But what I see from social media, she got a little type of bougie so not just angry emoji all her pictures. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, family? Uh, Hello. How y'all doing? Hey. Just the family. Hello. Y'all right. yep. chilling by the pool side, I see. Yeah. OK, OK. I feel like Sherry's family was a little bougie. Honestly. Oh, I'm nice. ready to go get me some nice water. Night. Yeah, I got to use the bathroom. You said it was over there now, right? Yes, it is. I got to go use it. You want our prayer, sis? <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming out. Uh, Mike and I greatly appreciate it. I'm really hoping that we can kind of like work through our problems here. I know you all have your concerns and issues that you guys would like to probably discuss and we want to hear them. And Topeka, can you please tell me your concerns? I am very concerned about you guys moving so quickly. Maybe you feel rushed because your biological clock is ticking. So I don't know if, if you're settling. Robert, I would like to hear your concerns. Michael, financially, I don't think you make enough, okay? 
if you're living paycheck to paycheck, that's not providing a financial, like, staple. Hey, Manny, you know you're my sister and I love you, but I feel like the courtship was very short. I don't really feel like you guys know each other all that well. And I think that, you know, you're Russian. Thank you, Imani. Ernest, what are some of your concerns? I never met Sherry. Only time I could see anything is on social media. And uh, to me, she seemed bougie. I want you to make sure this is what you want. I just don't want you to feel or be manipulated because marriage is something serious and it's something you have to deal with every day. And my God, I just want to make sure that you still continue on your path of your music. I just don't want you to stop while you're ahead. Thank you. Mom, any concerns? Just want you to not lose your voice. I want you to always be able to talk and express how you feel because you can shut down on people. Don't listen to outside influences. Whatever is between you and her, is between you and her. I appreciate it, Mom. Anthony. I also feel like it was kind of rushed. You were proposing to her. I felt like there were really bad circumstances. Because you, at the time, you were in the doghouse. She was mad at you because of some emails that she had read and she wasn't answering your calls and text messages and stuff like that. So you decided, you was like, okay, I'm just gonna go to her house and I'm gonna propose to her. And I'm like, whoa, hold on. You only been dating her five months. That's pretty fast. I am highly offended and negatively surprised as the whole proposal from the doghouse thing was definitely something she should have just auto declined. Why don't we know any of this? But they do. So it seems like Sherry is hiding stuff for months. You were proposing to her because you, at the time, you were in the doghouse. After only knowing somebody for five months, I personally thought it was like way too fast. I think both of them are crazy. He should have came over with flowers, an apology, and not just with a ring. And after what was going on, she's crazy for even saying, yeah, that that's just mind blowing. We were assigned task. I will go with Sherry's family. We're gonna build a five-year plan. And I'm gonna go with Micah's family. We're going to play True Pong. Hopefully, that gives you a chance to get to know me a little bit better. Thanks, guys. Right. Okay. To be honest with you, I didn't tell my family about the emails. They already felt some kind of way about you. I just didn't want to give them anything else for them to, you know, judge you on. So as long as I look broke and a moocher, everything is good. So what's your thoughts about Micah and uh, Sherry getting married? I'm just now finding out for the first time about the emails. Oh, And I'm okay. kind of like taken aback. I asked, I was like, well, did you actually do anything physically with her? Did you meet up with her or anything? He was like, no, it was just literally just text work, you know, just. I thought they were exclusive when this took place. They was on break or something. I am Sherry's best friend. We talk about everything. This is not like her at all. So I'm just like, red flag, red flag, red flag. It was kind of like a uh, tit for tat. What did she do? Sherry dances. So they started to go to the uh, dance courses together. She would dance with other older men. They're at a dance studio. She has a thing for older men. And he told her how that made him feel uncomfortable. So even if she did that, so he decided to, like, start flirting with a, another female, that kind of put a bad taste in my mouth. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. I got mad questions. I yeah. too. Was it all three of them that had said something about the finances? Yeah. All three of them, OK. They are bougie. Talking about money and what he can do and what he can't do. She needs to talk to her folks and tell them to butt out. I know you guys had some concerns about my five-year plan, so I'm here to go over it with you guys. My concern is family. Mm -hmm. I do want to expand our family. How soon are you into the five-year plan are you considering a family expansion? Is she pregnant now? No. Praise the Lord. 
I feel like the way that you proposed did not come out of a place of love. It appeared to be a manipulation tactic after what we find out about those emails or whatnot. So what, what was what, in those yeah. emails? Uh, it was harmless flirting. There is no such thing as harmless flirting. A flirt is a flirt. And then your solution to this was proposing to her? No, that wasn't my... That's what led to the proposal, though. I've apologized and I made up for that. So um, she's forgiving you for that? Is that what you're saying? She forgave me for that. Okay. You guys ready? Yeah. Yep. A little truth poem? Yeah, here we go. Let's see what you got. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. If he didn't ask to marry you so soon, would you have been ready? We talked about marriage. But I was thinking, like, you know, two, three years down the line. By him being, like, in the doghouse, if that scenario didn't occur, do you think he would have went ahead and proposed to you? No. I don't think he would have proposed so. So it was more to try not to lose you? Yeah. At that point? OK. Yeah. Your side of your family also thought it was kind of fast. Yeah. I do value the opinions of my brother and my sister, but we are making, like, the right decision. Well, that's good that outside influences don't influence you. Do you feel like Micah focuses on music too much? I'm for it. I do believe in him. I really do. But him working, like, part-time, I may be the one who's, like, paying the whole bills and not him, because he don't even have enough to cover anything. If you all are having money problems now, you and Micah should make a further date to get married. Let Micah go and get his career goals set and start making the money. I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to get to that point. I want to work it out. Do you, you feel know? like he's talented in what he does with his music and everything? I do. Then you ride that support because you believe he got talent. That's you believing in him, right? Mm -hmm. Then keep believing in him. Don't let nobody else tell you different. Because the way it came out, it was like he not good enough for you. Not from you, but from your side of the family. Yeah. Um, concerned with money. Um, so with the things that I do as far as shows, as far as like uh, selling my music, my beats, I do get passable income with that. Uh, on top of uh, working part time. Michael, what bills do you pay? Uh, cable. The light bill. Mm. Um, All right, so you know, like, divorce rate is like 50, 60 percent mm -hmm. based on finances. Right. You say you love Sherry, correct? You want her to be happy? Right. And you'll do anything for her, right? Right. I think Sherry's not thinking this out clearly, and I feel that we need to give her a safeguard. Well, you should have no problem signing this prenuptial agreement. Uh. Wow. Y'all a trip. You should have no problem signing this prenuptial agreement. Wow. A trip. That wasn't really the response I was looking for. Yeah. She's our sister, and we want to make sure that she is completely protected. If your intentions are legit, it's a piece of paper, right? All right. Let's see here. Are you sure you want to marry Micah? I do want to marry him, and I do think that we're going to have a really good marriage. But the opinions of my family do matter. I will say that. I mean, I'm just, I'm just kind of like being honest. Honesty is the best policy. Yes. By me signing this, would that set a little ease to y'all in knowing that I really love Sherry? It'll be off to a great start. OK. All right. I'll sit on this. Or do y'all have a pen now? No, we can add a pen. Blue or black ink? Do you have a preference? I think black would be the preferred. Yes, for legal documentation? Yeah. OK, great. OK. Some prenuptial agreement made on this. What's today's date? 
Right. Uh, I think that's it, right? Mm-hmm. It looks good. Right. Thank you. It's a lot to take from that. Hopefully, by signing the prenuptial agreement, they know that I'm not trying to harm Sherry in any way, um, and I'm not trying to take advantage of her. But they're tripping hard. Way past the time I said dinner was going to be ready. You about to chow down. Dear Lord, thank you for the food. I request that whatever is discussed on this dinner table is out of love and that we keep an open mind. God's name I pray. Amen. 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 I'm going to bless the cook and Lord her mercy on the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> so has there been any light shed on y'all thoughts about Micah and uh, his relationship still going forward with Sherry? I was kind of asking him about, like, the engagement. Did it sincerely come from a place of love, or was it really because he was, like, in a doghouse? It did. But I kind of feel like, you know, that was him showing me that he was, like, serious. I wanted to know why you didn't tell us that. I have forgiven him, so I wanted you guys to give him a chance. So you feel like that might have been something added to the list of stuff we don't like about him? Because it definitely is. I feel like you sign in the prenup. Help. A prenup? Yep. They didn't tell you about that? Mm-mm. You gonna do that? I already did it. He ain't like neither one of y'all rich. This man got a degree. He got a job. Y'all concerns. I would understand a lot more if he had none of those. What y'all looking for is to where Sherry don't have to worry about nothing. It's really insulting. They think that you've been providing and you have not. Majority of the time, I am covering the bills. You did not tell them how much sacrifice that I've been you know, making for this relationship, for you, for you to pursue your dream. There's risk that, you know, she's taking on by supporting his aspirations for a music career. I just love her. You know, I get that y'all have this, you know, speculation that I'm a moocher and whatnot, and I'm trying hard to show y'all that I'm not that type of guy. I don't know what else I could do. They were just looking out and wanted what was best for us. So did you negotiate a prenuptial agreement with them? It was their idea. But you knew about the idea. Mm -hmm. I did not expect to come here to be betrayed by you and your family with this prenuptial agreement. So did you negotiate a prenuptial agreement with them? It was their idea. But you knew about the idea? My brother brought it up to me. Classy business move, by the way. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. So why did they present the prenup to me and you not? Because I feel like that's going behind my back. No, we discussed this. We discussed this. They discussed it with me. I have not heard about a prenuptial agreement between us. Did that hit a nerve? It kind of did. You were so OK with it outside, though. I'm OK with the fact of signing a prenuptial agreement. I just prefer that she would have done it with me first. Do you feel like I was going to manipulate you out of signing of a prenup? No, it was it was just a trust thing. He I rushed know. into it, and this is why we're here. You was rushing, too. I don't agree with that. You didn't talk to him for two months. And when he did talk to you and he asked you to marry him, you could have said no. If Micah was rushing, you were rushing, too. No. Yes. He was the one that messed up. 
even though he messed up, when he showed up with the engagement ring, she said, yeah. No, I agree with you on that. I'm gonna be honest. I thought that opening up to you guys that you would understand my side, that's how I feel. No. She just walked off because y'all sitting here tearing her down. I am speaking the truth. And she got upset and oh well. Are you okay? <laughs> Sherry, we're just trying to put everything on the table before you guys actually go through with this. I thought we were moving forward, but your mom is really strongly opinionated. And that's that's my mom, babe. It's okay. She she will come around. <laughs> she feel it. I hate to see her break down like that. I love her. She took everything offensively, because my mom was a little bit more explosive than I anticipated. And I think it really hurt coming from my mother, because that was the person she was trying to uh, get approval from the most. We already came in this knowing how opinionated our family members are. We just have to stay confident that things are being said for something positive to come out of it. I'm not seeing anything positive, I know. You don't see that we out here in Malibu, California, enjoying the nature. No, I don't. <laughs> you don't? No. <laughs> Come on. I am like overwhelmed and I don't know how these next few days are going to go. Yeah. If it's going to be like this, are we wasting our time? I'm not wasting my time trying to work things out with you, and it's because I love you. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, how are you? Thank you. Come on in. How'd it go yesterday? Well, it was a little rough yesterday. Tell me about it. Robert, Imani, and Topeka was just like, we don't want Sherry to be having all the financial burden. And that's when the prenuptial agreement was proposed. They pulled out a piece of paper? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's dramatic. Yep. A legitimate Hang on. prenuptial. Did you know about this? My brother and my sister did talk to me about this. Okay, before. that's a yes. Because <laughs> you looked like you were about to say no. I didn't think that it was a good idea. But I do know that my brother and sister were going to try to be my backbone. You could broach the idea of a prenup. That would be a more honest way to handle it, instead of having like your family do the dirty work, if you will. I do feel like my family sometimes does speak for me in a way, and I apologize for that. But this is something that needed to be discussed, and my family just took action. Sherry, at the family meeting, when Micah's family said something about this email, your family was like, what is he talking about? Let's talk about this email. During the time when we were dating, to me, she was flirting with uh, other people. And I started flirting. And um, she looked at my tablet and saw the email of me flirting. She just stopped communicating with me for two months. Were you yeah. done with the relationship? I kind of wanted to, to teach him a lesson. To say, I'm just going to cut somebody off because they did something that I don't like? It's almost abusive. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to be abusive. What made you go back? You know, at, at that time, I, I just feel like it was a lot of pressure on me. Why is there a lot of pressure? Nobody has very high expectations of three months. I hear a lot of people sit here and they talk about being private. And really what they mean is I'm keeping secrets. This is like a secret. I feel that there's a lot of things that, you know, should be taken into consideration on both our parts and how we have been handling and dealing with things. I think time is something that we need to really, you know, think about. And really sit down and, you know, really ask ourselves, you know, are we, are we ready?
I think we need to really ask ourselves, are we ready? This whole process has just been unwrapping layer after layer of new feelings, new thoughts that I haven't heard coming from you. And I'm just feeling that it's being directed through your family. Talking to Tracy has just helped me realize how much further we have to go. I think I'm getting a clear picture of what the tasks need to be today. Micah, you did not do a great job yesterday of getting Robert on board with your music vision. So I want to give you an opportunity to share with him your music so that you can show him your passion, your talent. So I've set you up with my friend Mark Jackson, who's worked with Trey Songs and Justin Bieber. And he's going to help explain to Robert how the music industry works. And then also, you're going to get to play some of your tracks, and he's going to get to give you feedback. My hope is that Robert will come out of there going, OK, I can see it. And then Sherry, you're gonna sit down with your bestie and talk to her about how you really were not honest with her. Ready to go do these tasks? Yes. Let's do it. Okay. okay. I'm constantly defending myself in front of your family and hopefully going to the studio with Robert and Imani to listen to my music. They can see how I can be successful in this. What's going on, man? Mark, Mark the Mogul. Oh, Pleasure. nice to meet how you, you Mark. Doing, man? Good, Pleasure. Man. I heard you're an artist. Yeah. Are you passionate about that? I am. Sit down, man. Let me, let me learn something about it. So I'm here today with my fiance's family members and try to give them like a, a idea of what I do and how it works. So coming from someone uh, renowned like yourself, how is the process for you starting out and then the reward that came from that? You know, it started out for me a lot of favors. My cousin used to let me stay on his couch. It's a lot of hours of work that you really don't see the check. You know, sometimes that can be a frustration. But on the other end of it, you can have $1,000 in your bank account then 150000 like the next day. And it really shifts just like that. Do you think it's feasible, though, for him to try to still make it into the industry, like, at this stage in his life? Being an artist isn't easy, because that's, that's where the sacrifice is going to come. Are you OK? Yeah. You know, last night was, like, a lot. You know, I'm glad that we're here to kind of talk about those things. You know, the fact of, about the emails. I didn't tell you about the emails because it was something kind of like what I was kind of like ashamed of. I put Micah in a situation where I felt like I forced him, you know, to make this commitment to me. It was like two months where I didn't talk to him. I didn't have no communication and I kind of let him, you know, to propose to me. And I've been questioning what's holding him back from, you know, like advancing in his career. I feel like everything that your family and I have brought about are like really concerns that you have. Have you like talked to him about this? I haven't really been very blunt and open with him. Let's, let's hear some beats, man. Let's hear what you got. Let's start with Rookie of the Year. OK. A song I wrote. You um, produced it, too? Yeah. Let's check it out. Yeah. Uh. Forever immortalizing the 305. We make it rain and KOD the hoes come alive. Chilling in my Nike hoodie, Jordan number nine. I'm nervous, but having the opportunity to play my music in front of somebody who's won multiple Grammys is amazing to me. So it's, it's a really dope experience. I'm not about where you from, but who you plan to be? Gather round, I would like to say cheers. Hats off to the rookie of the year. To the rookie of the year. Yeah. That was rookie of the year. Yep. All right, what's this one? Sound like love. Sound like love. Uh, I spent my childhood second guessing myself, being compared to other, just being myself. People saying I remind them of someone of themselves, had me feeling my identity was self. 
Nothing wrong with like mindedness or common interest, but that sheer ignorance had me feeling indifferent. Hearing Micah's music, I feel like I'm getting to know Micah just a little bit more. I hope it all sound like love. Sound like love. Yeah. Thanks, man. That's some good stuff, man. Appreciate it. You know, when I listen to some of your stuff, you sound totally different than you look. <laughs> You're real creative, man. I'm liking a lot of this stuff. What you think? You have potential. Thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. It's good to see the artist, Micah. I, I like that. OK. <laughs> cool. I like Micah's music. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised at how good he was. I kind of felt a little bad. And I'm very appreciative of the insight. He definitely has talent. You've heard some of his stuff before? No, it's first time. Oh. Yeah, my first time. Meeting Mark the Mogul is a really good experience. Everything that I tried to explain in a five-year plan was so perfectly wrapped in that meeting. And both Robert and Imani have a better understanding of me and my music. Well, I appreciate y'all coming by. Man, you come back, do a showcase here. OK. Jedi, your focus one, just know it's love. Everything you do isn't new under the sun. Why would you say yes? I was hopeful I wanted to work, you know, but I think that I was just running off of emotions. I was just excited. So because he asked me, I said yes. And that isn't like a good enough reason, I feel like, to get married to someone. Oh, Topeka, you're right. Wow. I'm going to have to confront him mm -hmm. about, you know, me feeling pressured to get married when I really felt like it wasn't time yet. Do you feel like he would break the engagement? I will be breaking the engagement. So you feel like you should stop then? I do. Don't say anything. I won't. <sighs> Hi. Hey, good good morning. morning. How are you? Good. You guys have a seat. So the first thing I do when you guys sit down in the morning is I just take in whatever's happening. And I can see that there's something happening for you, Sherry. It is. Um, I feel like I don't have any cloudy judgment. How are you this morning, Micah? I feel great, and I feel a lot more confident than what I did going into this. How are you feeling about the blessing ceremony? You're about to go down there and ask for six blessings. Yes. What do you think? Still a little bit nervous of how uh, her sister will react. I really want her blessing. I really want her to see that I am the perfect candidate uh, to be Sherry's husband. OK, I think we're ready to do it, guys. Thank you all for spending the past three days with us out here. There's been a lot of ups and downs. And um, I just want you all to know that I do love your sister wholeheartedly. And I just want to tell Micah's family that I love Micah with all my heart and dearly. And I brought you guys here because I wanted to be honest with you guys, with everyone in my family. And it was really hard for me to do that at first. And Micah, I just want to let you know that I love you and I will always support you. However, I think that we should put a pause on our engagement. Wow. I still want to work things out, but that's the thing. We have a lot of things to work out. I want to see you improving and advancing your career. I want to see you put in the work. You know, within these next few months, I need to see you working hard. So. I just want to give you this ring here because I want you to give this to me when you're ready.
for me, that was very satisfying. I feel that this is saving her hurt and disappointment in the future. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. I was really hiding how I truly felt. I thought that I was happy by saying yes to you proposing to me, but I realized that I wasn't. And it felt like we were just rushing head on without having a solid foundation to start from. It's hard to hear that because if you felt that all along, I feel like I've wasted my time in a way. I'm sorry, baby. I'm OK, man. You sure? You know I'd be up the world. <laughs> <laughs> Mike is hurt, but it's going to be all right. I wanted Micah to take that ring and run. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Dude, you don't have to marry her. It's too soon. I'm having a feeling to run over and play the piano, you know? <laughs> I want to sing a song. I want to <laughs> sing We Are the World, you know? Hi, you two. Hi. That took a lot of courage. Let's get a family photo. 